It's a good look. You should have kept that. No, I got a cough again. <clears throat> anyway, save that guy for later. How's that? I am so flipping tired. I could your hair's getting so flipping long. It's just like I think Gina thinks you're growing it out like I'm purple. Oh, I'm not growing it out, Gina. I'm just too cheap to go get a cut. <laughs> But I am going to get a cut. So you never had long hair in all your whole life? Yes, I, I did. When I was like 18, Oh, when you were 18, married 18, 18 and you were young. I'm talking about like 25 on up. You've never... Oh, no. And Christy always hated that I got her hair. I like almost shaved because I don't like doing hair. I just oh, don't... I used to get hers really short here. Yeah. Party <laughs> I was like, I'm all... And so to pay me back, Sophia never gets her hair cut. Sophia's hair is like down to her bud. Well, it's cute. It's cute, but you know, it's just easier <laughs> just to wash and go. Yeah. Wash and go. <laughs> wash and go. That was it. Like wash and dry. Like I said with my ironing, throw it in the dryer and it's done. Be done. It's just the way it's going. Hmm. Anyway. Let two, me... two more days of work for me. Oh. Well, I might, I might, I, I applied for a job that I only have to work two hours on a Thursday. <laughs> But you don't like that job. Well, because I I have to watch a student. I'm supposed to be their job coach, but in reality, I'm just like hawking over them as they're working. And I'm not a big fan of watching somebody work. And then you gotta write about them. All. So, but I wanna keep my foot in the door. Because yes. I don't know if I told you guys. Did I tell you guys that, no, I don't think so. that I'm gonna be homeschooling Kylie? Um, Josh does not wanna be homeschooled. No. Clue. <laughs> like, no way. Um, and so after this Christmas break, um, so Kylie's last day of school will be this Friday in public school. And then um, after the break, um, when we come back in January, I, so I stopped my job, I, I resigned as of this Friday. And um, not that it's a big, you know, wah, wah, wah. not that it's a big thing, you know, really. But uh, I didn't want to leave, leave. So I applied for a job that I would only have to work from eight to 10 in the morning on Thursdays. And Sandy said she would watch Kylie and have her work at her house on something on those days. But um, just not working out well for Kylie at school and Sandy doesn't think this is the greatest idea. No. Well, you know what, I'll be like the one like she does, like she watches the girl at CVS. I'll be watching Kylie clean my toilets. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Give her some job skills. <laughs> well, this is really one of the main reasons is because- Well, tell them why. Working at the high school, I see, um, children like Kylie and there's different issues and there's different realms of and not to interrupt Denise but the problem with Kylie is Kylie looks perfectly normal yes you would so, not look look at her and think and, and know that she's issues. a special needs but she has special needs she has special needs and I see the children there and they really are glorified um, janitors. janitors of the school and they when I go in there at t 10 I get in there about 10 o'clock uh, till I leave at quarter to 12 they're cleaning and this is their life skills class. And, uh, you know, this is what they're going to be doing. And now when I talk with the girl, I won't mention names, um, that I work, walk, job coached <laughs> uh, on this past Thursday, the job that I want to try to get. Uh, you know, she doesn't like cleaning either, but this is her third year. She's in 11th grade. And I said, well, what do you want to do when you graduate? And she goes, this is all I know. Like, she was not happy. I said, what would you want to do? She goes, how could I do anything else? This is all I know. I mean, <laughs> I mean, they're... I don't want Kyle, that's Kylie's future. I don't want her to be the, you know, the janitor of the school when she gets there. So my thinking is, is when I'm going to at least try, and I don't know that it'll work, but I'm going to be homeschooling Kylie for a couple of hours um, in the morning. And then we're going to be what's called unschooling um, for an hour or so. Um, and that's where you just kind of do something fun that relates to a, a passion that she has. And I don't know what that passion is yet. And she's only going to be 12. So we don't know for certain what she wants to be when she grows up, but, um, or you play educational games, something fun, uh, just that she's still learning and then we'll have lunch. And then she's going to go to a public school in the afternoon for a couple hours to go to her electives, which, uh, so she'll still get the social skills with all the other kids um and so she won't manage to come home on the bus so it's kind of the best of three worlds there and i'm going to try it and i'm going to give it at least a month and i'm going to do that in january um and sandy wonders about my patience level yes because for Callie. Callie, well she has more patience than me i have no patience you know what i stood in that line when i was up in heaven when i was a baby <laughs> and you, they but you know you what out of it or something. I, it was just i didn't have the patience to stand in the line so i didn't stand in the line to get the patience well 
And I, I, you know, I think it'll work well because I'm not going to have Kylie do homeschool. I think, I think when I first talked to Singity and other people, they thought I was going to have her like working all day. And that's not what it is. Um, we're going to hit all the topics, but I think that's a two to two and a half hours in the morning. If Kylie knows them, we're going to do the fun unschooling and she gets to go do the fun stuff at school. That'll keep her on track. And, um, I'm hopeful anyway, and I'm going to give it a try. So I've you got to teach the her to be a seamstress or something. Well, I she don't likes know. to sew. Yeah, but I mean, this is the thing. We can figure out what it is yeah. because really, truly, like, I want to work with money with her because, you know, I think she could be a cashier or, I mean, it, she, I, she can't be any worse than some of the people out this there. That's true. The other day, I my bill came to $20.25. <laughs> kids don't know if they don't have the No, record. it was 21 <laughs> It was twenty one twenty five, and I gave them $26 and... 30, no, it was twenty one fifteen, and I gave her $26.25, and she was completely lost. I had to tell her, you owe me $5.10. Well, I have to put it into the register, and if that's what it says, and I'm thinking, how can no, you they, not no, know that? This is a thing, so I'm thinking that if I work with her with a lot, her math skills really suck. There's no other word for it, and her comprehension and reading. So I've been going over different curriculums and ideas and things, so it's not going to be, you know, we'll still do science, history, math. Um, but it's not going to be in the great lengths of time and we'll just work on the highlights. And so anyway, that's my goal and that's what we're going to try. So hopefully if there's any homeschoolers out there, please let me know. Give me any tidbits of information. That'd be great. I and then the world. she's going to start back to Weight Watchers and she's going to be yes. able to go see Dorothy again. Yes. In January because, because um, I'll be teaching Kylie then. Yeah. It's I just, know all kinds of words I can teach her. <laughs> yeah, this would be scary. <laughs> Uh, but there's other things like when she's over at Sandy's, I could have her because I'm going to have her learning um, her typing skills or hunt and peck. And I want there's a, a program on the on my laptop that she can learn, you know, so she could be doing stuff at Sandy's for that. So yes, I'll get to go back to Dorothy. On, so we won't um, have any excuses. And, and I, at this point, at this time of year, I just can't even get back there. It's just really not. I'm not in that. I'm not in mind. that frame of mind to lose weight either because you know I went to lunch at Outback today. I met some friends for lunch and. It's hi fun. Jeff, you should check out my channel. He can't believe I have, we have so many no, subscribers. No, hi Jeff. <laughs> but uh, there's a lot of people who can't remember. I know. That. So I posted on Facebook that we were, went to lunch today. So and he bought my lunch and he bought me a poinsettia or was that a poinsettia, whatever they call it. And uh, Kathy paid for the tip. And, oh wow! So, so it didn't cost me nothing. Mm -hmm. Did they like your gifts? Yes, they liked my gifts. They did like my gifts. But they, I liked them so much that I went and got some extra. And I got the last ones on the shelf when I went today. Oh wow! Yeah. Those are good gifts. We won't tell because they won't be they were good gifts. People, but they were really good. And I got some too because I got some last year and people really seemed to like it. And then I called my daughter-in-law to ask, say, you never gave me a list. I don't know what to get you. And she says, well, you know, whatever you want. And I says, okay, I'll get you a bunch of crap. Then all of a sudden my text started lighting up because she was sending oh, me good, all kinds of I, I, We have secret, no, no, they're not so secret. We pull in front of each other. It's not <laughs> secret at all. But we pick names um, from our brothers and older, older people, older folk of the family. And uh, the old geezers, because it's boring when you come in and get nothing. I, I'm not materialistic, but boy, I want to open something. I want to open a present. Yeah. <laughs> so we get to at least open one present when all the kids go crazy with the present. So anyway, so I, I picked her name and I have no clue what to get her. So yeah, I'm almost done. I only have a couple. Well, Danny got Gary, and you never told me what he wanted. You can't tell me now because Case Gary watches. No, he just already said. He just wants a from Speedy Q gift card because he likes to go get a frozen Coke. And a candy bar. The man <laughs> makes like a thousand dollars a week, but he wants a ten dollar gift card so he can go buy the candy bar. Because then he feels like he can. And it's so, it's he so doesn't silly. make a thousand dollars. I'm week, just saying. <laughs> well, it, he, it's just so silly because yes, he could go get a frozen coke and, and a candy bar every day. He works every day. I think he could. You know, I think he could afford that. I think he deserves that. But, but you know, but when he has a gift card, then he feels like I don't know, like it's okay. Then I don't know. Yeah, and he doesn't need to lo lose any weight, so no. That's, he's always he well. He's not as fit as when you first got married, but he's still fit. Because I mean, he used to go to the gym all the time. Yeah, he weighs the same. He's just kind of you know it moves. <laughs> Your weight moves. Yeah. yeah, he has the same weight. Shift, which is sad. I mean, it's not sad. It's good <laughs> for me. It's yeah. An actual day I went up. See, when I was born, I weighed nine pounds six ounces, and when I was a year old, I weighed three hundred and five. <laughs> And I've been trying to lose it ever since. <laughs> but you know, when we were younger, we oh, were fit. Yeah. We were fit. Uh, we were never skinny minis, not no. one of us, but we were healthy. But I think if you look back, we, we really were skinny. Were thin, yeah. Yeah, we weren't just anorexic, I guess, is no. how you look at it. We were probably thin. I, I mean, I look back and I see the pictures and I'm like, 
Jeez, I thought I was so big. I always thought I was huge. Boy, I'm, and I look oh, at me to be that huge in pictures now. next to my friends, and I was the same size as those. But in my mind, I always thought I was bigger I than I always them. thought I was bigger. But well, I was the same I was so, size. Well, I was so tall, so yeah, I, I see you way more. But, you know, my friends were a little bit shorter. I just look at the pictures, and I think, yeah, I was just like everybody else, and yet I didn't think I was. Yeah. Yeah. But as soon as we got our driver's license. We did license, this on our own. Yes. Yeah. And a job. And a job. With our <laughs> so own we had money. our own money. <laughs> so we could go where we wanted to go. Go where you yeah. want to go. Do what you want to do. I do think that I really didn't actually at that time. Um, well, I won't go into it. But anyway, I, I didn't start really gaining the weight that I have right now until I was in my early 20s. I was a businesswoman even back then because at that time you could buy like a, a single bottle of pop. People used to do that all the time. You just would buy a single bottle of pop. But you could buy like a, they had a six pack. You could buy a six pack of pop. A and bottle that were glass. Was, well, glass. Oh, they were so good. The pop tasted so much better too. Pop. I said that, Kim. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was like 50 cents for the pop for a bottle. But you could get a six pack for like a dollar and a half. So my brothers and sisters, I'd collect their 50 cents. And I'd probably make about three bucks and go and buy the six pack. And then I'd keep a dollar and a half for myself. My own little business. They were none the wiser. I've always been frugal. <laughs> you are so frugal. I'm going to choke on that. Save that guy for later. I am going to choke on that. You had the, you had the nerve to say that with a straight face. And I didn't frugal. say it with a straight face. <laughs> Oh, goodness hey. gracious. That's How many funny. people can get a, a brand new furniture set when they know we own That's not frugal. <laughs> <laughs> That's the opposite of frugal. <laughs> you live with, the, I know, I oh. won't say who, but I have people I know who are frugal and like, you know, they'll oh. save every little, yeah. you know. Well, Jim's, Jim's family is very frugal. My mother-in-law. <laughs> Jim didn't get Who that. doesn't watch these, so I can save yeah. that. And it's not even a bad thing because of Gary Harrison. It's not, he would say the same thing. Like when I first started dating him, but she didn't like me. But nonetheless, I would go to dinner at their house and I would help be nice and help clean up. And there would be like maybe five kernels of corn left in the bowl. And I'd be going over to the, you know, the sink. What are you doing? You know, I said, I need those kernels. And she would get a thing out. She had one and it was a Cool Whip container because she wouldn't buy a Tupperware container. And she'd open that lid and there would be every kind of vegetable in there. And she would throw those five kernels in there because she was going to make soup with it. I mean, really, I was like... That that'll give you a clue. <laughs> anyway, no, Jim's, that's frugal. Jim's, Jim's that's mother, so Jim's mom and dad were very very good with money, very mm -hmm. excellent with money, and they always every year they took their family on a vacation. They went all around. Like Jim saw almost every state there is, and they went everywhere, and they always had money. And when she when she passed away, she left us money. Sorry, my kids aren't getting nothing. <laughs> They're gonna get the little post-it notes from around the house when we have the little draw in February, mm -hmm. but. Um, but uh, Jim didn't pick that up because Jim is just like me. No, Gary did pick it up, right, no, which Jim is didn't. a good balance for me because we did not pick that up. Well, my dad was. Dad, my dad. Our dad was. He was my dad too. I know. I, I corrected. Our dad was more in the uh, saving, and my mother was more like the spending. Yeah. So we kind of. I think we took him. To <laughs> yeah. Well, because when my my dad was <laughs> dying, he always said. Well, you know what's going to happen to my coin collection and my stamp collection? That's going to be gone as soon as I'm dead. And we always say, oh, no, Dad, no, it won't. And it was gone. No, Michael has it all. Not the coins. I brought Mom to the coin thing to get rid of the coins. Mike has, might have the stamps. Michael has coins, too. Well, Mom's got rid of a lot of stamps and coins. Yeah, but he, well, stamps, I think. Michael has a lot of the coins. He's got the movies, too. And he's got and the he was supposed to. He's got the little... <laughs> let's not go into it. He's got all the little <laughs> bottles. He's got the little cabinet. It's okay. Because you really... That kind of thing, you know what? I just wanted one me. thing, like I, I like one thing, it doesn't have to be a value, I just I want something to remind you of. On record, I'm leaving Denise my whatever clock. clock that's exactly right. Uh -huh. That's what she When wants. I first said the clock, oh I want that clock, uh, Christy thought, <laughs> was talking about the clock she wants, <laughs> like no I want the whatever. Oh you can have that, she said. <laughs> I don't want that crappy thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, because it'll remind me of our whatever Wednesday. Yes. So that's the kind of thing I like from people, I don't need, need something. But like Shannon, because my kids always make, you know, like they'll always say, oh, Oh, you got that. That's mine. Yeah, that's mine. And it's just, I find so much humor in that. I don't have a problem. You know what it's I'm saying? It's a little gone. bit humorous, but it's a little bit mechanical. Well, you know, she always thinks it's morbid. So I told them that I'm going to redo my will in, in February. So I want to be I want to be here just to watch. So they're going to have them all line up outside with their little <laughs> post-it notes. They're going to give them a different color post-it note. And then I'm going to say, go! And then they're going to run in the house and they're going to put their notes. Tag the things they want they, they, in the they will. Tag the things they want so that when I go to my I'm going to be 
Because <laughs> I think that would be great When I go to do my will, I want to know exactly what they want. But because, <laughs> Won't that be entertaining? I think so. I think so. it will be entertaining. They're but running around knocking each other Because there was almost it. like a thing because Jimmy wants the mantle clock because it's got, it was Jim's dad whose name was James. And Jim's name is Jim and James and Jimmy's James. So Not he wants... his son though, David. Go no, ahead. he's David, David James, but whatever. Yeah. And uh, so he said, he said, well, I want that. Well, Danny thought he was talking about the clock back there or over there. And he said, well, I want that clock. And then they start getting this argument. And then Shannon says, oh, my gosh, they're not even dead. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, well, that is Jimmy's clock. He said, you said I could have that clock. And then Jimmy wants, Danny wants the other clock that was the first clock that Jim ever got me, which it's a nice clock, but it really didn't cost that much money. But well, it's, it's, see, that's just why I am. I want he wants it just for the part sentimental of part of it, but he wants the other clock because it's got value. And if you're watching this, Kathleen, I'm still waiting on the little teddy bear from your sister. I mean, your mother, my sister. <laughs> She didn't have a sister. She didn't have a sister. Anyway, because I have a little shelf and I have everything on there from everybody. And anywho, anywho, so. let's get on a better topic. Yes, we don't have much time here. Oh, that's right. I'm, the I'm time, the time clock watcher. Mm -hmm. What else can we talk about? We still got to do our Christmas tag from Blitzy Fritzy. We'll do that okay. another day. Um, next Wednesday is my Eve of Christmas Eve dinner. But if Denise comes over, we can do it early enough so we still have our whatever Wednesdays before Christmas. Well, yeah, because I, I won't be working. Yeah, she won't be coming for the dinner either. <laughs> no, we're not. I'm not inviting. You're not is my invited. family. <laughs> we're we're not. We didn't make that cut. <laughs> we're not having cake. Okay, exactly. It's our favorite Chips Ahoy yeah. commercial. Because <laughs> it reminded me so much of Josh. Yes. yes, he did the cookie look like Josh when Josh was little. <laughs> You'd have to have seen it, but oh. anyway. And my favorite memory that, that Denise has is she's got a phone a phone call from Josh from a year ago. I have Before one, his voice changed. I have a year apart, and you can tell the difference. And I will I hopefully I never lose the phone because um, it's I cute. It's really cute. I should take this. Over. I had a tape of uh, Jimmy when he was little, and he used to sing M I C K Y, -K -Y. -Y. <laughs> not you know for yeah. Mickey Mouse, but somehow we lost that. And it was so cute. <laughs> Those are old. I was talking the other day about that when Jim got me the Everly Brothers, and the eight track tape. It was an eight track tape, and just to show you how old we are. In Jim's one car, he had a record player in his car. So it went under the dash, and you'd That's put old. all the records in, That's and you drove, and it would be fine. And he never liked going to church. And one day I talked him into going to church with me on a Sunday. And when we came out, someone had broken in the car and stole his. his well, uh, he was at church. Well, he was at church in the church parking that lot. That's just odd. I don't remember that, but I don't remember a lot from back then. I wasn't a part of your life. You weren't a part of my life back then. <laughs> I wasn't. Yes, you weren't. So, but. <sighs> Those okay. were the days. Those were the days. Jim's, Jim's brother was always hitting on me, and he had a really nice car, and he always thought because he had a nice car that, you know, like I would go out with him, but I was in love with Jim. Mm -hmm. My man. Your man. Such a sweetie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Gina, I would sing, but you know, every time oh, I no, sing, the stupid to... dogs all sing you along with me. You don't want either one of us to sing. <laughs> I don't think anybody in our family can oh, sing. Oh my God, when you started singing, I thought... Yeah, is that a tape own. recording of me? And, oh, oh my gosh, <laughs> I sing so well. Yeah, no, in your mind, I guess. There was a guy. The only place. There was a guy at church, and I give him credit because he was up on the altar singing, leading us in praise and song, and oh, not hitting a note ever. Not, not one note did he hit. <laughs> not one. He kept going though, and like there was no problem. No, and I give him credit because you know I wouldn't have been doing that. No, and it's like I do sing in the pew, and Josh doesn't like it. I'm thinking, oh, I do you know, sing in the pew, too. I'm thinking, you know, I don't sing loud, but I, I sing, sing loud sing enough. And then Denise doesn't like it because when they start singing Latin, when I went to church, I, that's I all I they did was Latin. Latin. I oh, kind of figured it out now. Yeah, well, yeah, if you go every week, yeah, yeah, you kind of lose. Anyway. They wore manly rose. Yes. Because it's a pink robe last week. Mm -hmm. Denise bought me a white candle for my yes. uh, Advent wreath, so. We had to correct that problem. We had to correct it before there was an issue with mm -hmm. it. Anyway, and that's what time it is, Jen? What time is it? 19, 19 minutes. Oh, so. we have like 30 seconds. I might just delay this. Let me see if my thumb can make it. <laughs> you better get over there. Oh, we'll just cut it off. I'm just trying. Like, like us. <laughs> oh, you know what I like last week? We've got to make it real quick because we only got so many seconds. Last week when we both shouted at the same time, it's like we read each other's mind. Exactly. Okay, like us. Like us. Comment. Comment. Subscribe. subscribe. Share. Sure. <laughs>